Table to order at 4 p.m. on Thursday, October 31st, 2019, in room 137 of the Edison Building. Present at the board table is Mr. Michael Munoz, Superintendent of Schools, and a non-voting ex-officio member of the board. Also present is Ms. Wendy Edgar, the Assistant but Board Clerk. Ms. Edgar, would you please call the roll? Ms. Amundsen? Here. Chair Barlow? Here. Ms. Marvin? Here. Ms. Nathan? Here. Mr. Susner? Here. Ms. Seelinger? Here. Here. Ms. Workman? Here. Let's stand for the pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 2.01 approval of agenda. This is an action item. Mr. Munoz. There are no changes to the agenda. Move approval. Second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carries. Uh, 7.01 closed session. Educational data. This is an action item. Pursuant to Minnesota statute section 13D05 subdivision 2A3. I move to go into closed session for consideration of educational data and the administration's recommendation with respect to the proposed removal from enrollment of students who are not in compliance with the requirements of Minnesota statute section 121A15. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We are moved into closed session at 4.02 p.m. Closed session is uh, re reconvened at 4.12 p.m. There is the following resolution. Now, therefore, be it resolved as follows. Number one, the school board hereby accepts and adopts the facts and conclusions outlined in the notice of proposed expulsion as the basis for its decision. Number two. The school board hereby expels the student from the schools of Independent School District Number 535, Rochester, from October 31st, 2019, through October 30th, 2020. Number three, the superintendent or designee is directed to mail the following to the student and to the student's parent: a copy of this resolution and a letter stating that the student has been expelled from October 31st, 2019 through October 30th, 2020, and may apply to resume attending school in the district the first school day after the period of expulsion ends. Number four, the superintendent or designee is directed to identify the alternative educational services or special education and related services that are available to the student during the period of expulsion if the district wishes to take advantage of them. If the, I'm sorry, if the student wishes to take advantage of them. Number five, the superintendent or designee is directed to make an electronic report of this expulsion to the commissioner of the Minnesota Department of Education within 30 calendar days as required under Minnesota statute Section 121A.53. Be it further resolved that the student is not allowed on any Rochester Public Schools property except for the building to which the student is assigned, nor is the student allowed to participate in any extracurricular school activities during the period of this expulsion. No approval. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, this meeting is adjourned at 4.14 p.m.